Hi, my name is Ernest and I'm back. Today we're going to be installing some nice orange seal Boca ceramic bearings supplied to us by the fine folks of bearing, Boca Bearings in the Techno EB48 8 scale electric buggy. Uh, we're going to be putting these, bu these bearings in the hubs today. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that uh, my SET410 is fully equipped with Boca bearings. And I have to say I'm very happy to report that after a very extreme event at the Psycho Nitro Blast, I had not one bearing failure. Um, the bearings held up to a very extreme track to say the least. Um, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. So let's get started with these hub bearings. Um, to do this job, you're going to need four SMR 1913C 20S number 7 NB2s. Uh, you're also going to need two SMR 148C 20S number 7 NB2s and two SMR 688C 20S number 7 NB2. Tools will be needed a 2.5 millimeter driver, a 5.5 millimeter socket and wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, some medium Loctite, and some black grease. So to get started, we're going to start by removing the front hub. To remove the front hub, we're going to take the upper and lower pivot screws out, fasteners, and also the tie rod, the outer tie rod screw. Now for the purposes of time management, I've already loosened all this stuff up, so all I gotta do is pull it loose, pull it out. Now, on your outer tie rod, you've got some shims in play, and what I do to not dis disturb where the shims are, is I just lift the whole tie rod off with the screw and everything, shims and all, and then I'll take my retaining nut, and I'll screw it back on the bottom, just a couple threads, just to hold everything in place. That way when you go back later on you don't have to worry so much of where it goes. Now when you pull your hub out, you got your two, two pivot screws out, you pull the hub assembly with the axle out, and you're going to have bushings, your pivot bushings. The top one's probably going to want to fall out of the hole, so just make sure you don't drop it and lose it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 17 millimeter wrench and hold the wheel hub and loosen the set screw in the center of the wheel hub and we'll go ahead and remove that and once we have the set screw removed we can slide the retaining pin out and slide the hub off the stub axle okay there's your wheel hub like bear in mind, your retaining pin has a notched surface right here in the center. And when you put this back together, you want to make sure that your set screw sits inside that notched surface, surface so that the pin's not rotated to either side or backwards. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is slide your axle. Out of, the, out of the hub carrier. The stub axle came out, so you got your whole CVD there. Good time to take this thing. As you notice, my truck is pretty nasty. Um, I haven't cleaned it since the event. So, I'm going to take the time to just wipe that off real good. And I may even go ahead and disassemble it later and clean it up real good and reassemble it with some fresh grease. Um, 
and saw a lot of hard use this past weekend. The track, if, if you've never been to the Psycho Nitro Blast, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But it is brutal on equipment. So, we've got our hub carrier, our bearings are in the hub carrier, so we'll take a driver or a flat screwdriver, whatever's handy, and just push your bearings out each end. Just work them out side to side, there you go. So there's our bearings. Yeah, I'll just take and I'll wipe out the inside of the hub to get any kind of dirt or grease or anything that's left floating around in there. Now we'll reach over and we'll grab a couple of Boca ceramics. We'll slide the bigger one in the back side of the carrier. Preferably straight. We'll slide the One. Slide the smaller one in the front. Slide your stub axle back through. Make sure your bearings are nice and snug in there. Give it a spin. Make sure everybody's nice and happy and free. Put your hub back on. Line up the hole. Put your retaining pin in carry, uh, with keeping in mind the notched part facing outward. Make sure that's nice and centered. You look down in the hole and you can see down through the hole you can see that flat part. You'll take your set screw, put a little bit of medium Loctite on there. Get that thing bottomed out, work it back and forth a couple of times, that'll let that pin turn and get in the right, right position. 17 millimeter inch, and snug it down. And basically from there, you're just going to reassemble the thing. I'm not going to put it together because I'm going to take it all back apart and clean it all out and get it ready for the next race. But, um, you know, if you're all clean and you're ready to go back together, on the ball end of your shaft, your drive shaft, take, just put a little light coat of black grease on there. Um, not a lot, just a very thin coating, because anything else is just going to get slung out and wasted. Okay? So now we'll move on to the back of the vehicle. And in the back of the vehicle, you're going to remove the pivot pin for the hub carrier and your camber your camber link. So we'll go ahead and take the camber link out. And you've got a nut, a retaining nut that just sits in the side of the, the hub carrier. So you don't want to lose that. We'll put that to the side. Now at the bottom, depending on your setup, You've got some shims that locate the caster of the vehicle. That's the relation to the hub assembly forward and back. I run the stock setup, which is one thick washer at the back and a couple of thin ones in the front. So when we pull this pin, you want to be careful to remember where your shims are because they're going to come out of there. There's one of them right there. That's the thick one towards the back. And what I'll do with mine is I'll just pull the pin out just enough to remove the hub and axle assembly. And I'll leave the pin in there with my forward shims in place. And that way I don't have to remember exactly how it came apart. And same thing with the front. I'm going to take a 17 millimeter wrench. 2.5 millimeter driver in the center. Remove the set screw because you're going to want to put Loctite on it. So just go ahead and take it all the way out. Pop your retaining pin out of there. Slide your wheel hub off. 
which may want to be stuck after a weekend like uh, like it just had. And I'll take my wrench and hmm. I wasn't anticipating that. It's on there. Okay. I'm going to work it on off of there. There it goes. I'll tell you, that clay gets about everywhere. <laughs> like I said, this truck just had a real rough weekend, so some things probably not going to come apart as easily as they should. Usually that'll slide right off of there. But not today. You know, we'll slide our axle some, our stub axle out of the bearings. I'm definitely going to have to clean that up. And once you have your hub carrier out, just pop your bearings out. Just work them back and forth. Pop them out of there. Grab a couple of new Boca ceramics. Slide them in place. Put your stub axle back through. Slide your hub back in place, and same thing on the front. The cutout, the cutout in the front of the pin, you see it right there pretty good. You want that facing forward towards the outside of the hub. And I don't have my hole lined up quite properly. There we go. And you're going to slide that through sometime today there we go and same thing I'm not going to put it back together because I got to clean this mess up but anyway once you get it in there put your set screw in work it back and forth just a little bit when it bottoms out that'll set the pin in the correct place give it a snug and there you have it a couple of bo Boca Ceramics installed and feeling really nice. Who knows, if I'd have had these this weekend, I might have finished one or two positions ahead of where I did. These are some really nice free spinning bearings. And like I said, in my, in my short course four-wheel drive, I didn't have a single failure all weekend. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, anyway, reassembly is opposite of of disassembly um it's pretty straightforward easy you know easy swap for these bearings nothing difficult about it i'm um, glad you could join me hope this video gave you some insight and a little bit of knowledge on how to do this and uh, i'll see you next time we'll do the steering rack bear bearings um, again i want to thank the fine folks at boca bearings for supplying the bearings to do this video uh, i've had a lot of fun doing these videos and We'll see you on the next one. Have a good night.